because the girl who witnessed the chance to live between two worlds. I feel like I'm being shattered. I feel like I'm about to cry because in the space of freedom, in the space of what we call that is hope, I'm finding myself in, a, in between a country that I, my father laid his life for and I'm being confused, is it heaven or is it hell? South Africa is the only place in the world where you can have both the first poor and the third poor country in one land. How can a land, full of, how can a land be full of brave and, and, and the strong be divided by freedom, be divided by finance, be divided by strength, be, be divided by infrastructure? South Africa is heaven and hell. Speaking for my father, who was a gold miner, he gave his life away so that we can actually stand in freedom, but yet a white guy who is younger than me, I get to work for him as a slave dog. Are we living in heaven? Are we living in hell? Is it just a perception of what I think is the truth? Is it just because of reality as it seems to be? Is reality the actual truth or is reality sadness? I get to say the reality is based on perception and understanding, but in South Africa, you could be living in hell in heaven. Mm. In South Africa, you could be living in heaven in hell. You pick your side based on your strength and based on your net worth. Africa is heaven and hell because I don't even know what to do next. I'm a graduate of computer science from the University of Cape Town. Yes, I found myself working in labor for a Chinese guy. What do I do? Where do I stand? Who do I call on to? There is no one else in Mandela. Who do I call on to? Because there is no one else in Mandela. He's forever gone, but I'm here. I tell you, if Africa is heaven and hell, I choose a side to pick because I want to go with heaven. I tell you, as a young South African, I'm going to stand up right. I'm going to fight for this very same nation. I tell you that today is going to be a new day. I tell you that today we're going to rise up as South Africans and choose the directions of heaven. We're going to build our own countries despite all the fallacies. We're going to build our own nation despite what the Americans or what the Arabians say. Because I am the South African. I choose to go with the fact that no matter what they say about us, I'm going to rise up as the dust rise up. I'm going to clear the shackles and not be confined by the space in which defined by the white man's legacy. Because we're living in a system that was never broken. But we're living in a system that was designed not to work. I am a South African. I'm going to break all the boundaries. No matter what you say about me, I choose to live in heaven in South Africa. I'm not going to have hell over me. I'm not going to have hell over me. Let hell break loose because heaven is about to not be built. Yes. 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 Yes.